Today we are going to look at polygons, and we'll start by looking at the definition of a polygon. I have that definition up here for you. And notice that a polygon is a closed figure. Closed means that it does not have an open section. It's kind of like this. If, if I have a point here, and I draw another line here, and then another line here, you see how this is not closed. It has an open section in between these two points. And so that is not a polygon. And it starts and stops at the same point. So for instance, this part right here means it kind of goes with this closed figure part. So it starts here, and, it's, and it stops eventually right back at that point. So it's like you can walk around this figure. So this part right here starts and stops at the same point is talking about this closed component of a polygon. And so closed, again, cannot have an open section. Polygon is made up of line segments, so this means that it can't curve. So if you start seeing a curved figure, then it's not going to end up being a polygon. And there's one more thing here. The line segments do not cross. All right, so line segments that mean that we can't have something like this where it curves. It's got to go from one point to another in a straight line. And they cannot cross, so it cannot come back on itself like this. So we cannot have this. So this would not be a polygon. This would not be a polygon. This would not be a polygon. And so that's what we're looking for. And that's what the first set of directions asks us. And then after that, we'll go to the classifying the polygons. And so <clears throat> determine whether each figure is a polygon. Explain your answer. So when you look at this one, you see how it starts you can start at any of these points. It goes and then it kind of comes back at this point here and it comes back here and so we would say that because it has some lines that cross and it would work if I started here well no it wouldn't because when I go ahead and do this I have to come back on itself and so notice how when I'm starting here this point right here I have to come over here over here and then to make this line segment, I can continue. I can continue here, but you'll see a problem with this. Is when I come around, I end up touching at these little points here, and it cannot touch that same point. So once I've touched it right there, see, it's not going to end up being a polygon. So once I end up touching one of the line segments, and it doesn't even look like I touched the line segment as I drew this, but once I touch it at these points here, these vertices here, and a vertex is the singular form, vertices is the plural form of, of a, where two lines come together, it's not going to be a polygon. So it's not a polygon, and the reason, so we'll just say no, and the reason is, is that the line segments cross. <coughs> and it doesn't even need to seem like it crosses like right through the middle like that it can just be at one of the points see this line segment came up to this point right here and then at that point that's where they ended up crossing so the line segments cross <clears throat> now this one we can start here and continue around all the way around this figure and get right back to that same starting point and we do not cross. See here they are crossing right at the point at the ends, but here they don't end up crossing. So these, this would be a polynomial because, or I'm sorry, a polygon because it does end up going around and not crossing. We have line segments and it is a closed figure. So yes, this would end up working. What makes this one not a polygon? It's not because if you watch when I go ahead and go around it, I have line segments here, but then right here, notice that I do not have a, a uh, line segment here. This is a curve, and so I would say no, and that you, the reason would be the polygon has a curve in it. Uh, there is a curve, and you can't have a curve being a line segment, and so that's why it's not a polygon. This one here, well, it looks like it's doing okay, but we come around to this point right here, and what's wrong here? Right here, we have an open segment, so we would say no, it's not a polygon because this is not a closed, closed figure. 
So when we don't have that closed figure, we don't have a polygon. So let's take a look at this one. This one starts down here, continue on. Notice how the line segments are not crossing over each other. I'm continuing. I have a closed figure because it's going to end up right back at that spot. And I have line segments, and they do not cross. So we would say, yes, this is OK. So the key is you don't want those line segments to cross. And here they are crossing at a point. And over here, they weren't crossing at all. It was a closed figure. And we had all line segments. Here we did not have a line segment. We had a curve. Here we had an open figure. Here it was closed, line segments. They did not cross, so it was OK. So the next set of directions is asking us about naming a polygon. So we'll go back up to here and polygons and their classification. So we only have, well, there's an infinite number of polygons, but we have to start with a triangle. This is the smallest number of sides a polygon could have. And notice that the number of sides, number of angles are going to equal. So a quadrilateral is four sides, four angles, pentagon, five sides, five angles, and so on. And so we all have up to decagon, which has 10 sides and 10 angles. So the key is to count the angles, and or just count the sides, because they'll have the same number. And so here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we've got a five-sided figure, so we call this one a pentagon. And over here we have, we just count the sides. So I just put a little dot where, so we know we not should not count that side again. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this we call a decagon. And then we look at this one. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we call this one a heptagon. So we're just counting the number of sides and then Using this little chart here will help us figure out what they are. And we do the same thing here. 1, 2, 3, this is the 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This is a nonagon. And we look at this one, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So we call this one a quadrilateral. And this is the only one that's a little different. So it looks like they're all Greek words, except for this one here. And that one's a Latin word. We have quad, and that's four, and then lateral, and so it's different than the other ones. And triangle is the same way. So once you get past the quadrilateral, they all have this G-O-N, which is just a suffix there for angle, how many angles it has. So that's where that comes from. So take a look at the last set of directions. It says to determine whether each figure is a regular polygon. Well, we better figure out what this means. Regular polygon means that we have all angles are congruent. And congruent means congruent. Congruent means that they are equal. So they're equal, exactly the same. And so we can't have an angle being different. All angles are congruent or equal, and all sides are congruent. And so congruent again means they're equal. There's no difference between them. And so here they're going to give us some symbols. And so when you see this line going through, that signifies that these two sides are the same. Well, we see the same line going through. So we'll say all sides are congruent. So that's good. Now we have to check the angles. Now they have this another symbol here. They show this arc that signifies that they're talking about an angle with a line going through it. That means that all of those angles are the same. So all angles, all angles are congruent. And so when we have all angles congruent, and all sides congruent, and then we say, yes, this is a regular polygon. And that's the key. So regular just means that all sides are the same and all angles are the same. And 
it says to determine whether each figure is regular polygon, explain your answer. So that's good enough. And so I guess if we were to say what this is, we'd say, yes, it is a regular pentagon. I'll go ahead and give what that value is. And then over here, we look at this one, and we see these two sides are the same, but these are not the same. This side is different than this side, and this side's also different. And notice the angle symbols are different. Here we have two slashes and two slashes. Here we have one slash and one slash. So we'll say sides and angles. We'll say all. All sides and all angles are not congruent. And if that's the case, then it's not regular. And it's not a regular quadrilateral. All right, well, let's take a look at the last one here. It's a triangle, and it looks like these two sides are the same. But this side's different. Notice how this only has one symbol. This one has two symbols. So that's different. And we also have the same thing here. 73 degrees, 73 degrees. This one's not the same. So notice that the this is an isosceles triangle, but not a regular polygon. So we'll say uh, all sides and angles are not equal. They're not congruent. So it's not a regular triangle. So we only had one in this example here. So again, the key for regular is that all sides and all angles are the same. So those are the types of problems you'll see on tonight's homework. Good luck.